Hey everyone, today we're going ahead and doing a speed build video. This is the renovation battle for the month of December. And a little bit of, you know, sad news is that this renovation battle will be the last. And, you know, not just the last for the year, not the last for 2023, but uh, we're thinking that this might be the last renovation battle for um, for now, at least. I'm just trying to scroll up to Havana's message where she addressed this. But if you don't know, Havana Sims is the individual who organizes these renovation battles. And she announced a while back that the final two renovations, so the one before this and this one right now will be the last as far as battling going go, is going. So um, yeah, unfortunately this is the last renovation battle as we know it. Uh, it doesn't mean, you know, that the team will never do like renovations or stuff like that to some degree or in some other format, but the way that we're currently doing it, um, yeah, this will be the last one done in that manner. So it's a little bit of a bittersweet ending. I have been involved in these renovation battles, I think, since the second one that they ever did. It's been quite a few years, I think. It, I think it's been at least two years. Hold on, let's, let's do a trip down memory lane. Don't mind me, I'm just going to pull up my YouTube channel real quick. Before I do, I'll read through the, the rules of this, this month's renovation battle and the final renovation battle, just so you've got an idea of what's going on in the background, and then I'll, um, you know, blabber on. But it is the final build for the Woodsville Mall renovation. I'll read out the whole thing just for just for old time's sake. We have gained attention from a property called Simon Property Group. Uh, and they want us to renovate an entire mall before its grand opening in January 2023. That's next month, guys. We can do this. Our seventh and final reno is a pet shop slash clinic. So it needs the following. This building is meant to be a pet shop slash clinic. You cannot change the shape of the build or where the door is placed. Get ready for all cats, dogs, and birds who seek immediate attention. For the grand opening, they would like to display one of uh, the dog courses that they offer. So place that outside. So it is due on the 17th of December at 12 p.m. EST. There might be a Twitch tour. We're not quite sure yet, but if there is a... Uh, head on over to Havana's channel on Twitch. That's where you'll be able to find that. And the gallery is hashtag pet shop reno if you're looking to find this using that hashtag on the renovation battle. So um, if you're looking to find this renovation battle on the gallery, I mean, sorry. So we can do a bunch of different obstacles, like agility course stuff um, for the outside area that Havana is talking about, like the, the hoops, the curved tunnels, the ramps, the weaving poles, the straight tunnel, and the platform, etc., that comes with cats and dogs. So that's what we're going to be doing for this final renovation battle. And mm, I'm going to be definitely decorating the vet clinic for Christmas time for this silly season because I think this time last year we did a Christmas like uh, renovation. So I'm definitely very excited to make this a little bit Christmassy because I personally celebrate Christmas and love Christmas decorations and all that good stuff. So let's just let's just scroll down memory lane, baby. Let's scroll down until I can't find a renovation battle no more. There have definitely been some times on my channel where the renovation battles are the only things that I consistently like participate in and upload. Like even if everything else has fallen off <laughs> track or I'm not like doing other things prop like lps or whatever are falling to the wayside renovation battles are always something that i've kept up with i'm just scrolling back as far as i can i think i found the point where i started wow i've been uploading videos for way too long <laughs> okay so there's the apartment. No, no, we definitely must go back further than that. That was not the first one I did. I think the first one I participated in was a library. I know that they did a... Yes, here we go. They did one before I joined. That was the um, 
the bar in Willow Creek. I did not participate in that one, but I've participated in every single one since then. And oh my God, sorry, I'm just going down memory lane at the moment. And I always get this way towards the end of the year where I start to reminisce about my channel and, and different things. And just looking at three years ago, which was when this video is from the first renovation battle that I participated in. But at that time I was uploading my Get Famous LP, which is just, I could honestly cry looking at these LPs and stuff. It's, you have a lot of emotions attached to those characters, which might be silly, but anyway, my Get Famous LP, I was still doing the 100 baby challenge around that time and just starting the peach generation of the not so berry. This was a different, this was a different beast. This was a different breed of YouTube. <laughs> I've, I've, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, hopefully there's no sound. Let me turn that down because I don't want you guys to hear the sound. I'm just going to open on up. Let's see what date the Willow Creek Library Modern Renovation Battle was. This was my first renovation battle video. Oh, my own intro. So cute. It has 168 views. My first renovation battle. Uh, and when was it uploaded? I can't see the date. Oh, the 23rd of June, 2019. So we did it all of 2020, 2021 and 2022. So it's been like three and a half years of renovation battles. I honestly thought it was like two years, but no. Oh, this is back when I still had an upload schedule. Mm, so cute. If you guys have been watching since, since this time, that's amazing. Oh, I'm just also realizing that YouTube has put like automatic key moments on my videos that I did not do. I should probably go through and check those kinds of things on my channel, on my older videos. Anyway, what a memory. <laughs> amazing. I'm, I'm just in awe of how far we have come with this, with this challenge. We then did the Shea Lama uh, restaurant. I'm probably going to miss some because there's so many, but I'm just going to scroll through and see if I can and rattle them off based on my uploads. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any aside from the very first one I wasn't a part of, but I'm pretty sure that I have been in every single one since then, which is honestly amazing. Oh, Roma Magic. Remember that, you guys? And the green generation are not so berry. Okay, then we did the 2B Jasmine Suites apartment renovation battle. Oh my goodness. I also renovated the Realm of Magic Hotel, but I don't think that was a part of, I don't think that was a part of that. I think that was just me. On the, I did a, another collaboration, Sims Around the World. I did a build based in rural South Australia. Aww. I I used to do so many clubs. I don't really anymore, aside from Renovation Battle. That's why I love them, because it keeps me like interacted in the community. Uh, we then did the 18 Culpepper House renovation battle, another apartment. Oh, and that was soon after I celebrated my three years of Brie Simulated. So cute. Oh, I hit 500 subscribers around that time. My 500 Sims were 500 subscribers. Cute. Oh, this is when Discover University came out. I think I was getting very close to finishing the 100 Baby Challenge too. Then we did 930 Medina Studios renovation battle, another apartment. Oh, uh, Discover University came out. Wow. Honestly, I kind of miss this time period. Okay, here's a holiday build. This must have been at the end of 2019, the old Salt House holiday renovation battle. That was a lot of fun. Uh, 2019 in review, I finished the 100 baby challenge. I also finished the not so berry challenge around that time. And now we're in 2020. Boy, we did not know what was to come. Tiny Living came out. Okay, the, we then renovated the Lynx residence in Brindleton Bay. This is adorable. Oh, I never finished going through my 100 baby challenge screenshots. Uh... I, I probably won't. Oh, I think I lost them, didn't I? When my computer crashed. I think that's why I didn't. Oh, sorry. Um, what else did we do? We did the Delgado's Attic. That was a lot of fun. You should definitely check that one out. And then I think next, Eco Living has come out. So we did the Rockridge Springs Eco Lifestyle Renovation Battle. That video on my channel got 360 views, which is, I think, the most I've ever had a renovation battle uh, get views. 
Then we did the caboose, which was like the bar in, uh, what's that town called? The eco lifestyle one, Evergreen Harbor, the bar in Evergreen Harbor. Then we did the Knox Greenbird Crane House renovation. That one got 216 views. Everyone must've been really into Evergreen Harbor and the lifestyle, uh, eco lifestyle stuff. Also, this has just turned into me going down memory lane, but I did a morning routine in the Sims video and that has 3,100 views. Should I make an updated one of that? I'm also really considering going back to Jenny to Batu because that's like one of the most successful series on my channel. And I feel like a big reason for that is because every, like most people hated Jenny to Batu and didn't play it and didn't watch it or create videos about it. But I did because <laughs> I love Star Wars. So I feel like anyone who did like it gravitated towards my series a, a decent chunk because a lot of them have like many thousand views, which is not common for my channel. So I'm honestly thinking of going back and, and doing Star Wars again, because the only reason why I stopped is because my computer died and I lost everything. So I would have to start again, but I would consider it. Then we did the Nookstone renovation battle in Oasis Springs. The, the Slip Shod Mezik renovation battle. I probably butchered that. I did a club, the Hell House collab, where I built the apartment from Alive. That was fun. Then Snowy Escape came out. Paranormal stuff. Adorable. We got bunk beds. Oh my goodness. Then we did the Amsey Cottage renovation battle. We're in Windenburg here. And then the, the house that had the car crash in it. And we had to redo the living room. I remember that one. That was good. Okay, this is right around the town time where, yeah, my computer died. Uh, we did From Trash to Bash. That was um, Renee's little home that she had that was all trashed up that we made over. Oh, Dream Home Decorator. Mm, adorable. Cottage Living. Okay, so yeah, here I have two videos in a row where all I did was the renovation battle. So the bro renovation battle and the fish shaped house renovation battle. I did those two in a row because I guess for those two months, I wasn't doing any other videos other than renovation battles. That was smack bang at the time when my computer died, my hard drive died, so I couldn't film and I lost a lot of stuff. I think I managed to save some footage, but I couldn't find like my saves or my screenshots and stuff. A lot of it was corrupted and I think some of the footage was corrupted too, but I managed to save some of it um, and upload some videos to like cap off a lot of the series that I had to end because I couldn't play them anymore. Just sad. We did a renovation of just a bathroom. That was pretty sick. Uh, then the Modern Lane Holiday renovation battle. Oh, that was this time last year. And then what else did we do? So this is now looking at this year, I guess. Yeah, because I started the daily life. That was the start of this year. That's going to be coming to an end soon. Oh, crap. I need to film that. Thanks for the reminder. Also, the Dove Legacy. I haven't played the Dove Legacy in quite some time. I honestly haven't had time to play, aside from doing speed builds, really. Then the Cobblebum renovation battle from Cottage Living. The farm renovation. I think that was the first renovation battle I ever won from memory, which I was so happy with. That was like one of my biggest goals for a long time was to win a renovation battle. I was so chuffed with myself. Then werewolves came out. We fixed up the gym and started the Woodsville Mall renovation this year. So we did a gym, the spa with the deluxe playground, started high school years LP. Then we did a jungle cafe. Or the, I think it was just, it had to be a restaurant or a cafe. I decided to make it a jungle cafe. Then we did the library, um, the home goods store. And now, uh, sorry, most recently we did the electronic store and now we're doing the, um, I forgot what it is, the vet clinic slash uh, pet store. That's what I was looking for. Sorry. I was really stumbling over my words there. But yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't actually built it yet. Typical me, but I really wanted to film a voiceover. So I'm, I'm filming this really quickly. Hopefully it's long enough to cover most of the video. If not, I'll probably just edit it to fit because I really want this video to be voiced over as the very last renovation battle as we know it for forever but especially for this year you know the, the last one for the year is always special but thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with me to explore not just my renovation battle history but my channels apparently 
Um, hopefully me talking about those series and the LPs and whatnot will give you some anchor points for how long we've been doing these renovation battles. And just a big shout out to anyone who's ever participated in these renovation battles, whether like it's as a builder, like in entering the competition, people who have voted and supported, liked, comment, shared our videos. Um, and especially a big thank you to Havana because she puts in a lot of effort and time into these these challenges for us and it has been so much fun and really has helped me <laughs> keep at YouTube um yeah because there have definitely been some times where I wouldn't have uploaded all month if it wasn't for a renovation battle video and it really yeah it, I think doing things like this are important when you're you know a, a sims youtuber <laughs> making videos and whatnot it's really cool to find a sense of community and find a group that you can you know chat with and do stuff like this with on a regular basis like this was a big part of my month every month looking forward to making my renovation battle videos and and putting them together and watching everybody else's and I caught a couple of Havana's live streams like once or twice because um, if you don't know I'm in Australia and a lot of the other people in the renovation battle team are in the United States but I know we also have other people from different countries too but because we're all in different time zones it makes it tricky sometimes for us all to like catch the live streams at the same time or watch the videos straight away or whatever. My videos are always scheduled to go up at like 2, 3 a.m. So I'm typically asleep. But yeah, just a big thank you to anyone and everyone involved. And even if all you ever did was watch the videos, thank you so much for your support. And yeah, it's going to be really sad to see this series go. But um, yeah, I mean, wrapping up 2023... Oh my god, did I say that? The end of 2023. I think I said that more than once in this video. The end of 2022. Welcoming 2023. Sorry, I just aged us all by a year. Um, yeah, the last one for 2022. Um, no more. And also, yeah, just wrapping out the year in, in totality. It's always a big milestone and I'm not sure what uploads of my channel are going to look like next year in 2023 got the date right that time in 2023 got a lot of changes happening and yeah I've been busier than ever this year and it's only going to get busier next year so definitely revising um what my content is going to look like next year still not quite sure so <laughs> there we go um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this renovation battle and that you've enjoyed all of them so far <laughs> if you haven't seen them all I'd definitely recommend going back and watching them because there's some really entertaining builds like really really talented builders out here taking these places and, and making them a million bucks so thank you all for your support and your love and I hope you all have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon bye